almost 50% of girls are trying to lose weight due to an obsession with being slim and over 80% don't have a nutritionally sound diet. Yeah, yeah, I know we're supposed to eat healthy all the time, but sometimes it just feels like it's impossible. I know about this, I used to live in Brooklyn when the nearest fresh food was like 10 blocks away and the convenience store with all the junk food was right across the road and it felt like I just wanted to eat junk food all the time. Plus, science shows that when you tell yourself something is off limits and you're not allowed to eat it, you just crave it even more. Ain't nobody got time for that! Here are my nutrition hacks so you can get all the nutrients you need and live a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so the two things that girls don't usually get enough of are fiber and protein. There's no fiber or protein in most convenience foods and they're the hardest, so let's focus on these. Fiber is awesome because it stops you from feeling blocked up and sluggish. High fiber foods include things like fruit and veggies and whole grains, or if you're completely lazy like me and you don't have time for that stuff, you can try a fiber supplement. Protein. Protein is so important because it helps you build beautiful hair, clear skin and strong muscles so you can kick ass. Cool, so now you've got your fiber and your protein sorted, now you need to figure out what your weak link is. Mine was buying candy. If I had a dollar, I would buy a candy bar with it. So think about what your weak link is. Now you found your weak link, figure out a solution for it. Mine was giving my money to a friend and then she would only let me spend it in case of emergencies. Yes, there is such a thing as a chocolate emergency. If you're tempted to snack, you can do what I do and just leave healthy food lying around. I always buy a huge bag of apples and leave them in my room and because I'm essentially lazy, I will eat an apple instead of going out for pizza. Remember girls, your biggest critic is usually yourself. People who practice self-compassion and forgive themselves for their mistakes are way more likely to be happy and stick to their goals. If you find you've accidentally eaten an entire bag of Reese's Pieces, don't beat yourself up about it. You can do it better tomorrow. That negative voice in your head, she's never going to give you good advice. Now, it might feel like people are going to like you better if you could just lose those last few pounds. But seriously, a report in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found what we kind of always knew, that after a few weeks of knowing someone, looks don't really matter all that much. It's your personality that decides if someone's going to like you or not. So girls, choose what you eat for yourself and no one else. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.